My most favorite feature this year is our fighter select. Favorite feature this year is our fighter select. Favorite feature fighter select. Fighter select. Fighter select. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me there was over a three year gap between game releases and the number one favorite thing from this EA developer is the character select screen? <laughs> I don't hate UFC 5. It's just a game that should be much better than this. We don't get a single new fighter in this game. Like, how? Who, who's not in the game that, that, that we should be upset about? It's not like I'm talking about some unknown unranked dudes either. I'm sure they'll be added in later, but I just find it kind of funny that the stigma with sports games is that it's just a yearly roster update. But UFC 5 couldn't even do the roster update part. There's very little that's new, and the stuff that is new was in previous MMA games or is so mundane that it shouldn't even be worth mentioning in any sort of grand capacity. Like for instance, the very revolutionary feature of throwing elbows to a grounded opponent. This was in UFC 3. They took it out for UFC 4 and then they brought it back for UFC 5. Oh, how about the refs stopping the fight for a TKO? Okay, cool, I guess. This would be like if Madden were to advertise refs being on the field as a new feature. Oh wait, they did do that, huh? But even if we ignore all that, this stuff isn't even executed well. Sorry, did I say grounded elbows? earlier yeah take out that s you only get to throw one elbow before you are forced to right back down to being postured down i understand that this is done in real life to help maintain dominant position but in real life you also have the choice of just raining down elbows something you don't have the luxury of doing here outside of a scripted animation when the fight is already over speaking of these ref stoppages are bad on the surface you can get an animation like this and say wow that was really cool But then there are other times where the ref just watches in the background like an OnlyFans boyfriend. When you do get the ref stoppage, you come to realize that it's just a pre-scripted animation that looks like there's some agency when it comes to the ref. But in actuality, it's just the same as the last game, but with some window dressing. The ref doesn't stop the fight on his own leisure. It always happens when the opponent's head health is at zero. The animation you see here is just that, an animation. like. Bam, the fight's over. I'm not throwing these follow-up strikes. It's just part of a fight ending animation. I have two things that show how stupid this is. Firstly, look at this clip. The fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was one. There's the time. The guy made it to the end of the round and still tapped. And this only happened because I completed the submission transition that supersedes everything, even the rules of the game. You could probably do this with ground and pound as well if you time it correctly. And secondly, the ref just Danny Phantom teleports his ass into the cage to stop the fight. Peep the shadows. And also, the refs don't even break up submissions. Just an overall very poor way of implementing this. You might ask, why did I spend so much time on these seemingly mundane things? Well, they were featured in the reveal trailer prominently too. <laughs> Getting into the actual game, it looks great. Unfortunately, you can't really see that in my footage. I apologize. I was too lazy to get my capture card, so I just recorded with the PS5. Some fighters look weird, like Aljamain Sterling looks like that donkey meme. But for the most part, character models look fine. The lighting is great. The sweat on the fighters, the fact that the fighters faces turn red when you have a choke on, the sweat flying off, and most importantly, the blood. There's a new damage system. Unlike previous games where damage was superficial, this game has damage and I mean damage. Jesus! Like some of these cuts are next level bad. The blood can even pull into the mat. And you can even play rock, paper, scissors when selecting a character. Okay, maybe that EA dev was right. The presentation shines the best when the fighters are walking out. I was genuinely surprised when they had Alex Bahara's walkout where he shoots the arrow. Another thing is the post-fight replays is they now throw a filter onto the replay and play it with cinematic swooshes and whatnot. He's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man.
This could look really great or really bad depending on how well the replay decides to capture the action. If you are anywhere that's not the middle of the octagon, the camera gets obscured and doesn't even cover the action all that well sometimes. Or it just goes off into weird angles. Like what is this a replay of? Feet and butthole? Come on! The actual gameplay is the best part of these UFC games. Or should I say, the stand-up striking is the best part. The game overall feels much more responsive than previous titles. There are new animations for strikes, and strikes in general feel like they have a lot more heft to them. And I think a lot of that has to do with the sound design as well. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Oh, bad. And back to his feet. There are some new button inputs, most notably for uppercuts and the spinning attacks. Uppercuts now have you holding R1 and a punch button, which is fine. They claim it's easier, but I don't really see how. You are still pressing two buttons and now you bring in an extra finger for this input. So I don't really know how that's easier. The spinning attacks have you press X and circle, which is the most awkward combination of all time. And then you have to press a face button on top of that. At first I hated this, but I do think attacks like this should be hard to pull off. So I'm fine with it. I just don't understand how it's supposed to be easier for the new player. Also, the new damage system that I kind of mentioned earlier. Throughout the fight, fighters get damaged, but it's more than just visual. If your cuts and bruises get really bad, the ref can call the doctor in and the fight can be stopped. He's He's flailing at him. Can't find his target anymore. Yeah, and that's going to do it. And I wonder if these fans who are going will be willing to fight another man in a cage with one eye, right? This adds a whole nother layer of depth to the gameplay. All of a sudden, those little pitter-patter elbows from the bottom that did about as much damage as farting on Superman now actually serve a purpose. You can use them to make a bad cut even worse. You can land jabs and straights to mess up your opponent's nose so their stamina gets messed up. This was actually a really good addition, and overall, the striking in UFC 5 is good. Is it perfect? No. I would like signature styles when it comes to strikes. There's no reason why heavyweights should be throwing the same kind of uppercuts that a straw weight throws. I would like leg damage to be more than just another health bar. And, uh, less glitches, please. Hi. But overall, this isn't EA Sports kickboxing. There's a grappling component here, and the grappling sucks balls, mostly because it's the same from UFC 4 outside of one thing. It's the same transition slash denial system. This system is just so lifeless and stationary. You can't move on the ground. You can't butt scoot or do anything. Even when you're down, you can't move like a turtle on its back. Why? The animations for the grappling look too... I don't know, safe? It looks like two dudes giving a demonstration to a class as opposed to actual fighting. There are no new positions, clinch is exactly the same, you still can't deny clinch attempts, there's practically no cage fighting, and the ground pound is still this super automated thing where you automatically get postured down, but now you have a singular elbow, ooh. Like what happened here? Three years to get these same systems that no one ever liked? It's even worse than the last game because the camera work here is even worse than the camera work in a world star hip pop fight where everything but the action is being recorded. In past games, whenever you activate a submission, you get taken out of the game for 30 to 45 in-game seconds to play Ring Around the Rosie or some other dumb shit. This time, the submissions are just part of the grappling, which works way better. Once you get into a submission, you have an option to finish it or move to a different position. You can press R1 to drain both fighters' stamina. You can also use this to fake out a defender. You have a submission meter that drains about one to three uses depending on the fighter and their stamina. It's a game of patience much like real submissions, but you can also lock up one instantly, just like real submissions. That allows for him to slip the right arm out, he gets to his back. Now, he's inside control, but he's out of that deep submission attempt. Good work, guys. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know, that heel hook looks tight. It's tight, it's over, it's over. I like this system, but it's not enough to overcome the grappling shortcomings. Overall, the gameplay is split into two parts. I really like the striking. It's the series' biggest strength despite some annoyances. But to not change the grappling at all is just confusing. Stepping into the other game modes, we got nothing. Career mode is here and look everyone, Coach Davis is back. Who? Yeah, sorry, did you expect 
anyone to care about this. So what'd you think of that last UFC game? Uh, it's all right. You know, you know, I like the career mode. <laughs> I care as much about Coach Davis as EA cares about a career mode. How much is that? Considering that they've added nothing to career mode, that should give you your answer. All we get is some new cutscenes where you're in Coach Davis's dusty ass gym. It's either really dusty or enchanted. What's up with all these particles and shit? And Valentina Shevchenko has a glorified cameo. Coach D. Hey! So glad you could make it. Thank you. That's about it. I can't really comment much beyond that because it's the same as UFC 4, which itself was mediocre. Money is still useless, training is still boring, although you can simulate it now. You'll be fighting old as dirt fighters, like why am I fighting 46 year old Derek Lewis for the belt? Nothing was done here. I think what EA is trying to go for here is to try and recapture the spirit and fanfare that the Fight Night Champion story had, while at the same time having a career mode, both in the same game mode. The thing is, is that they don't understand that these are two different experiences that should be separate from each other. I like career mode simply because it's my career. It can go any way that I want it to. But with this game, it's extremely linear. You will always be Coach Davis's student. You will always start off in the backyard. You will always meet Valentina in the same exact way. You will always fight in the Contender Series. Like you can ask 10 people who played career mode and they'll all have a similar story of how it went down. Only difference being the skill of each player. Just let us be our own guy. Don't give us a backstory and try and tell us who we are and how our story goes. Fuck you. And this isn't just for this game. This is for practically all sports games at this point. And that was your main game mode. You have this fight contracts thing where you just win fights under certain circumstances and get coins. Eh. There's ranked online championships, which is the same and blitz battles, which is relatively untouched. There is a new game mode called online career, which definitely sounded interesting. But then when you get into the menu, you just realize that it's ranked championships, but you use created characters exclusively three years years for this, huh? You assign multiple creative fighters into certain weight divisions and upgrade your guy and customize them. This is just me personally, but I'm not a big fan of these customization and UFC games. In online career mode, you can run into guys like Daredevil or this monstrosity. Oh my God. Wait, what does that say? Follow me on my TikTok. And sit your ass down. And this is UFC 5. Not much different, not much improved outside of the damage system and submission system. Are you really gonna pay 70 to 100 dollars on a prettier game that added two good things over a three year period? EA doesn't think very much of us. They had the nerve to come out with trailers that advertise mundane stuff like it's revolutionary. In videos, they had the nerve to call the backyard and Akumite new game modes because they changed the rounds and the time. Yeah, that's not a new game mode. You just change the rules of the match. The Kumite is such a drastic change from what it was on UFC 4. Fucking liar! They've added zero new fighters to their game. One of the devs said his favorite feature was character select. Muhammad Ali fights the same as Nate Diaz. I mean, come on at this point. If you have to know one thing, it's that this game points to your chest and calls it a hip injury. 